Right, ladies and gents, part two. It's going to become part one for a particular reason. I have to start a new character. <laughs> Orc Warrior. That's kind of what we did before. Let's go again. Panda Monk. Okay, let's just roll with it. So, while I quickly put this guy together, I'll explain what happened. Um, basically, I got So Orc It Hurts uh, to level 8 or 9. I recorded the footage. I was a bit of a twat and did not realise that my Discord was playing underneath. Um, and yeah, there were guys talking on my Discord and I didn't even notice. So, so yeah, we're, uh, we're having a roll again because I wanted it to be seamless. I also made a few changes. Um, eh, gotta have the hawk, man. Um, made a few changes to my setup. Should mean that it's nice and smooth, all groovy. Yes, I know, I've probably gone and jinxed it. I don't think that bad. That's, yeah. Right, you know what it's going to be. So, Panda. I keep pressing space. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> so, Panda, it hurts. Oh, no. So, Panda. So, Panda. So, Panda. Okay, I'll try to avoid any racial issues during this. Um, yeah, so very basically I've thankfully got the webcam issue sorted. Now I don't have that stupid bollock camera issue that I had before going on. Um, also got a nice bit of feedback on the last video. Um, I got several... oh hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh look at this! Right, uh, we don't need recount rocking. In fact, I totally forgot about this. Don't need omen. Don't need handy notes. Don't need recount. Keeping the rest. Because reasons covered before. Uh, system. No, Alex isn't face. Add on snagger. Configure. Not configure. Profiles. Yeah, use me. See, look, I set this shit up just in case. Sometimes I'm on the fucking ball, people. Alright. This is my default uh, setup when it comes to. Am I allowed to use food? Yeah, I can fucking use food. I might need that. I'm just put it over here. And put it there. Um, sorry, guys. I'm just trying to realise what pandas actually have. I don't need that. So that's my stun. That'll do. Is that all I start with? I thought monks had more. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, sweet. Can I, can I have a title at least? Or, no, it's not letting me have a title. Oh well. Right, anyway. Where was I before? Genuinely don't remember what I was talking about in the See, that's the problem. I get too, oh, I get too easily distracted. Hang on. Yep. Interface Editor 2016 again. Why can I never remember where this is? Auto loop. That, that shit just needs to be enabled by default. Is there a way to change that so it is always default? Okay. I don't have a weapon, do I? Fool. Okay. I do not know the panda starting area whatsoever. I've done it before way back when Mop came out, but that was kind of it. Um, or whenever I joined Mop. I can't remember if I joined... I didn't join Mop at the beginning. I think I went over this before. Um, I've got to destroy these things. It's going to take fucking ages. Yeah, so... Anyway, I got a lot of nice feedback on, um, on the last video, even though um, it's not been my most successful video. And I don't really look at stuff like that. I mean, at the end of the day, I do this because I enjoy it. I'm going to stop trying to press escape, people. It should have been a New Year's resolution. It's just habit for uh, deselecting. Like, my, my finger just spams that shit. Um, yeah, so, the feedback I got um, was very constructive uh, in terms of what people liked. Um, thankfully, there wasn't no, um, no feedback that was negative. 
Um, but there were suggestions, and the suggestion that I kind of got, in fact the only real feedback I got was all the same thing, um, a lot of people actually turned around and said that the biggest issue with the video was that it was too short, which is something that really surprised me. Um, and I'm just double checking this because I've got no way of spending energy when I build it. Um, yeah, so I've always thought that my videos have run on a bit too long. You know, if you go through anything, whether it be Rocket League, Evolve, Infinite Crisis, um, actually the Infinite Crisis ones weren't too bad. I, I really missed that game. I had so much fun doing those videos. Um, and obviously they're the first videos I started with, so how could I not love them? Um, despite all the technical difficulties. <laughs> So yeah, I, I'm really shocked that people wanted, especially the Iron Man challenge video, to be longer. Um, so I figure I'm going to, I mean before, I was aiming for uh, 15 minutes and ended up cracking out 30. Um, I figure now if I aim for about 30 and then just start to wrap at about 30, um, like wrap it up of course, not going to turn into an MC, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll just see what happens. I don't remember. Maybe I should be reading. Oh, hang on. Oh, well, I did whatever I needed to do there, so that's fine. I'm pretty sure this shit's upstairs. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this shit's upstairs. Oh, here's the dilemma, though. What, um... What faction should I go with? Wait, what the fuck? Burn the Edict of Templars. Is that this shit? Yeah, there we go. Hmm, we don't want Oh. Yeah, so, um, I don't know what faction. I mean, my heart's with the Horde, man. But maybe that's why I should make him Alliance in case he dies. Weak, pitiful Alliance. Uh, defeat German one. Did, did I get loot? I'm really not paying attention to the game. Um, clear evidence that I was going to say men, but I'm pretty sure there were dudes out there that can do it. Um, I can't multitask for shit. <laughs> so Pandai. I actually forgot about the name and it just tickled me. <laughs> oh, easily amused. Easily amused. Fucking anything amuses me. Especially if it's really, really childish. Yeah. If, if someone just rolls up and goes like, I don't know, bull sack, I'm gonna giggle. Or at least smile, cheekily. Oh my god, this is so long without being able to spec. Did he just fuck off on a bird? <laughs> whatever, dude, whatever. Yeah, you're there in your loom. Yeah, you clearly ain't doing this shit. Although I think I'm going to get pretty decent um, whites in this area. Pretty decent whites. Although maybe I should make this guy Horde. No, let's, yeah, let's make him Horde. Because he's going to survive. He is Monk. He is so Pandai. So Pandai, you wish you as Pandai as him. Um, one of the other things that uh, actually I got a bit of feedback on that I'm going to try and stick with um, was I covered, uh, was it two? Maybe two? I, I covered like some stupid little news story things and just gave my kind of take on it. Um, uh, and I had, uh, had a really cool message of someone who was like, yeah, no, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I immediately went and looked it up, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, like I say, by no means was it my most successful video, but um, it was nice just to get that sort of level of feedback. Uh, so yeah, um, I've been sticking to what I normally do. Browsing the, am I meant to go over and get this chick? No. Um, what's there that I need? Stolen supplies. Ah, uh, these dudes. These dudes. Um, yeah, so I've just been doing the usual, like reading whatever stories I kind of find on the web. Um, 
And the one that kind of has stood out in the last week, it might have even been the last day or so. Uh, all my days are like mixed together in my head. I don't know what's when. Um, joy of being a shift worker, people, you lose the calendar altogether. Like, whether that comes to hours, days, months, you, you don't know where you are. Shit just happens. Woo! I can spend it. Now I'm gonna fuck people up. Um, why the fuck do you get a title? Is it because you've got other characters on this server? I ain't got none of my titles. Fucking favoritism is what that shit is. Uh, so yeah, the new story that kind of stood out to me recently, um, just literally what the fuck, was very much, there's a, is it a spa? I don't know if it's a spa or a kennel, um, but it's for dogs obviously, uh, hence the word kennel, and it very much is, you know, I, at these spas or kennels, whatever it was, They'll they'll wash your dog, they'll brush your dog, they'll tidy your dog up, they'll clip his nails, they'll brush his teeth, they'll do all the shit they can do to your dog without like sexually harassing it. Um, but they will now not sexually harass it, they will now perform an exorcism on your dog. The actual fuck. <laughs> One, if your dog is possessed, just how would you know? I mean it, actually, no, in all fairness, if I was sitting there and my dog's like head just started spinning, yeah, that, that shit would freak me out. If he started owling in front of me, I, I don't think I could deal with that. Um, or like if he's doing, no, that's the one, that's the one, the fucking backwards crawl. You know, where like she all bent over and her spine's inverted and shit. Um, I'm meant to be protecting this bird. Uh... Yeah, no, if the dog just starts doing that across the floor, where the fuck is she? Yeah, fair enough. If your dog does that, you go get your dog exercised. But, like, what, what if it's just vomiting? Because, like, dogs can eat grass and whatever else and muck up their digestive system. You know, they have a bit of chocolate, they, they'd be sick, and you're like, oh, my dog's possessed, and go get it fucking exercised. But... Who, who genuinely thought of this shit? Was it a case of... We need something new on our 2016 summer fucking catalogue. What service can we provide that no one else does? Oh look, no one else exercises dogs. Um, I, I kind of didn't read into it too much. Um, just just because I, I just could not justify my time on such an article. <laughs> but do they get a priest in or do they just have one like on staff now. Have they decided if we're doing exorcisms we need to hire a priest because it's more cost effective to have one on staff than to bring in a subcontractor. <laughs> um, come on, that priest has got to be fucking bored. Like, any, any other priest would not believe there are that many dogs that need exercising. I mean, I would not, if, if I was some, um, I don't know, Maybe their heads just twisted. If I was some evil demonic spirit, and I'm like, I'm going to come wreak havoc on the world, I'm not going to hijack a chihuahua and shit on the fucking carpet. You know. Come on. Come on. I think that's the last one we needed, this one. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just me, because I am very much... Uh, scientific evidence person I don't take a lot on faith um, and I got nothing against people that do you know I think faith's very important to have and you know I, I would love to be able to have uh, the sort of faith that some people do um, you know I think it can really push you to great things I'm just someone who show me like the hard evidence that's that's all I can believe in um, and it goes with most things, you know, even something else I've seen a lot actually in papers recently. Or I, I keep calling it like, here in the papers, I just read it on the fucking internet. Um, yeah, is when it comes to like exorcism and ghosts and that sort of shit, the amount of hauntings or whatever I've seen recently pop up. Um, 
and I oh shit, I didn't mean to press you. And um, yeah, man, I don't believe in ghosts. I do not believe in ghosts whatsoever. I mean, I'm pretty sure we've all had weird, unexplainable stuff happen to us. And when I say unexplainable, it's unexplainable to someone who doesn't fully understand what's happening. Alright? Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, once or twice I've had those kind of eerie, like, feelings and whatever else. But I, I was drunk. <laughs> so I'm putting it down to booze. Or like overactive imagination at the time, or whatever else. Like, I don't believe there's anything supernatural out there. Um, but there's stuff like uh, there was a guy in a cathedral who was recording uh, a video on his phone, and apparently you hear the spirit that he captured in the video say something or other. I genuinely cannot remember, and I'm sorry, it's bad context, but I'm just running this off the top of my head, and my memory's poor at the best of times. Um, yeah, apparently it said something, so I'm there. I gave it a watch. This, you know, I will still watch all of this stuff, even though I don't believe. Um, and I didn't hear a damn thing other than the wind. Like, I turned the volume right up, like, ear piercingly loud. Couldn't couldn't make out a thing other than the bloke chatting or uh, he wasn't actually talking sorry it was people in the background um, who were walking past and maybe that's what he got confused about maybe he's got such poor depth perception he could not see more than six feet ahead of him and he potentially assumed that what the fuck is this for? Oh, it's a quest item and he potentially assumed that uh, you know the people he could not perceive ahead of him or ghosts. You know, maybe he didn't have his contacts in. I don't know. Um, and it's like, what was the other thing? It was the giant, uh, the... Okay, I don't think they name-dropped it as the Kraken, but they might have done. But like a giant squid, and I'm talking of monstrous proportion, was photographed by Google Earth, maybe? Pretty sure it was Google Earth. Um, just type into Google, like, Kraken spotted or something like that. Um, and I'm sure it will pop up. Again, don't believe it. Why? Because there is such a thing these days, and it's the same with pretty much anything I see on the internet. You know, it can be a spooky ghost, it can be pictures of a nude celeb. It doesn't matter. If it's a photo, it can be photoshopped. If it's a video, it can be edited. Now, we all know how good people are at editing videos. Um, because we all go to the movies and like shit you see in the movies can be real these days that's how good CG is um, and just because it's been shot on a phone actually makes it easier to make it look real when it's fake so I, I just don't believe anything I see or read or, at all on the net you know am I meant to do something this is the windstone now it's actually a pretty cool looking like white armour set. I kinda like this. I don't know where I was going now. What I was uh, talking about. I was talking about not believing the internet. Yeah. Um that's that's pretty much it. Very, very skeptical. Um someone else about someone coming back from the dead or whatever. Oh, it's bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Although Saying that, like, if I could believe in anything, um, sorry, just turning that off. If I could believe in anything, it would probably be the afterlife. Uh, I think I think that's a pretty good, um, you know, pretty good deal if that if that's about. Although I do like to think if if um, if the afterlife was a thing, that you got choice, like. But here's me, so I've now, I'm about to cop it, or well, I'm in the, the final stages of passing on, and Death rocks up, and he's like, yo man, because me, me and Death, we're close like that, he's like, yo man, what you be saying, you be wanting to go into the light, or you want to stay? I'd, I'd fucking stay, right? And I don't mean in the context of, I'm not ready to die, I have stuff to achieve, blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'll feel like that at the time, 
But this is just me making obviously a lot of assumptions. I'd be like, nah, death bro. We um this isn't happening. You you make me a ghost. You make me spooky and a ghost so I can go haunt shit. Alright? Cause I would fucking love that. I would be nothing but an absolute troll. And I'd do it to all my mates, all my family, and I'd just be really fucking inappropriate. Like, I wouldn't be creepy and shit. Um, I wouldn't be, you know, fucking possessing your dog. That's for damn sure. I'd just... Like, you'd, you'd be on the toilet, and I'd just, like, pop out and be like, Woo! And shit like that, you know. Um, or, like, fucking grudge you, just like... You know, fucking do that shit. Um... But, but yeah, I, I, I'd love that, or like a job interview. And then obviously it's the limits of what you can do as a ghost. Like, I would assume that this might actually be a tough fight now that I think about it. I oh, don't know, maybe not. Okay, at least I can interrupt him. Um, yeah, so... Like, what's the limits? So, as as a ghost, can I dress up? Because that'd be brilliant. Because someone I know, is it a job interview? I'd have a stupid costume on. I'd, I'd rock a mankini with, like, a testicle hanging out the side. Or someone's at their job interview, and I'd do some crazy bullshit dance. You know, I would love that. So, on the record, if the afterlife exists... I'm definitely coming back as a ghost. Like, even if, even if they turn around and go, um, you're, you're, you're getting into heaven, everything you could possibly dream and want is there. Um, or you can stay behind. I'd, I'd be like, I'm staying the fuck behind. <laughs> like, there is no part of me that would even hesitate. Like, that, that is my heaven. That's just summed up. Um, Ah, and, and the other thing is, you know, um, eventually, obviously, the end of time will come round. Um, you'll be, I'm sure in time, people are probably, oh, have I got to do this? How do I possibly get closer than this? You actually have to stand in the fire? No, yes, you do. Okay. Um, like... I'm sure eventually you'd, you'd get lonely and whatever else. Um, but then, is that kind of worth it to see the eventual end of mankind? Like, just to know how we go. I think that'd be pretty cool. I'd like to see that. Or could I, like, if you could interact with other ghosts, fine. Like, even if the other ghost is... I don't know, fucking Jimmy Savile, whatever. At least there's someone to talk to. Yes, I might not have a lot in common. You know, he might get a little weird when we've had a few to drink. Um, but yeah, if you could interact with other ghosts as well, come on, that'd be pretty sweet. Um, that, that was a pretty sweet deal. I'd, I'd take that afterlife on any day of the week. And then, like, can you have animals in the afterlife as well? That'd be curious. Um, is that wool? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Who's wool? Oh. Um, what was I going? I don't know. Oh, yeah, uh, with animals. You know. Because if you can, uh, if you can have ghost animals, do they... Would they have a say when death comes knocking around? Like, if it's a fucking great white shark, would death be like, Sup, G? You, uh... You want to stay behind? Like, if he was able to make that sort of decision, would he just be going around as a ghost, like, trying to eat people and shit? Um, would that be the entirety of his ghostly days? How the fuck did we get onto this subject? <laughs> yes, I say we, and it's just me here. This is what happens when you just let me run, like, just start babbling and 
wherever else. Wait, is this dude coming on to me? Okay. All I saw was the little kid going, was he hot? I bet he was hot. <laughs> Just thinking back to that Jimmy Savile. He's haunting Pandaria, people. Watch the fuck out. How many minutes are we have? We had 25 minutes. That's cool. I'm going to record more than one video today. I'm going to record more than one. I'm hopefully going to publish more than one. But, um... But, yeah, let's not, uh, let's not make them too long. Let's say... Finish this quest chain, maybe? Like, finish, um... We'll, we'll do the... Uh... The... Podium pole. Paul. <laughs> not, not even going to go into what that could look like. Okay, anyone who is keen with um, uh, doing them video edits I was talking about, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can work something into this. And, and yeah, thanks for that. Right. Now, what we got to do, let's grab these first. Get the fuck away, Crane. I can hear you. Coming after my tasty frog legs. Oh, you know what? I've only eaten frog's legs once, and that was not a pleasant experience. And it didn't, they didn't taste too bad. Um, it was very much like, it was like really dry chicken. I don't know if, um, if anyone's ever tried to, uh, like just. Mm, what's the, I'm gonna say fry. Um, like I used to fry some chicken when I was going to the gym and whatnot, uh, just because the oven was busted where I was at the time. Get away! There we go. Um, and yeah, the chicken would come out really, really dry. Like there'd be, it wouldn't be moist in the slightest. Um, but it was the only way that I could kind of cook it. Fog off. Yeah, I'm good. There we go. Um, what, what was I talking about? See, it's too easily distracted. Oh, fucking grains, man. It's Chris's bullshit. You're meant to, I believe, sit here and watch them. And, you know, strike when their back is turned. But anyone who plays WoW is just like, oh, I'm just get this done quick. Um, yeah, that's just what the frog's legs were like. Um... But where the nasty experience comes into it was uh, pretty much immediately after the frog's legs, like within the next hour or so, I think it was. I, I was so sick, and I was sick, and it was a deep, deep kind of green. I've never been sick that it's looked like the Hulk's vomited. Um, which, stupidly enough, and probably disgustingly enough, I've actually uh, had a shite where it was green as well. Caused by a, um, <laughs> a blue squishy, is that the term? Fucking, um, is it squishy? I don't know, one of them, like, uh, all right, now Google will be my friend. <laughs> I'm going to type in blue squishy, and if it doesn't come up, I know it's called something else. The fuck is that? <laughs> all right, it's not a squishy. Um, whatever, it's like a blueberry flavoured like ice drink um, and a massive one of them uh, and yeah there you go, fun fact fun fact um, I forgot where my leave vehicle button was then wait, what's the other thing I've got to do? oh, I've got to ring this thing nuts oh, piss off The annoying thing is you can't kill the um, cranes while you're uh, in panda form. Oh, that worked. Oh, but you can't do it from there. Right, fine. Um, so yeah, uh, the two offices that you can kind of push stuff out of are that green shit coming out. Well. One way, the other way, one shit, but you know what I mean. 
Um, so yeah, not not keen on frog's legs. Wouldn't recommend it unless you um be kind of into that thing. I suppose it's good if you try to lose weight. It's a bonus. All right, let's um let's actually hand this one in. So where we at? Where we at? We just over 30 minutes. Let's just hand this in. And then, uh, and I'm going to take a quick break, grab a drink, and uh, I'll record the next bit. I'll record the next bit, and then I'll post them pretty close together, because it's been a couple of weeks since the last one, more just because I've been crazy busy than anything else, um, and just have not had the time, which kind of sucks. Like, uh, in terms of gaming in the last, and I can be very exact with this, um, in the last 10 days, uh, I've only jumped on WoW like uh, twice just to do garrison stuff on my max levels. Um, uh, I've played like an hour or two, Metal Gear 5. Me me yeah. Um, don't know why I struggled to think what I was playing then. Uh, and that's it. That is all of that. Right, let's accept these. Bum. And we're going to stop video number uno here. Oh, here's something that I didn't mention in the last video uh, that I kind of want to. Um, you'll notice I've not got an intro outro, or I'm not going to have on these Iron Man challenges. And that's just because I want them to be really seamless. Um, so when you play them back to back, uh, if you decide you ever want to watch them back to back, uh, you can see that I've just done it in the entirety. Which I think is going to be kind of cool. Um, I might put an intro on in the front of this one. I didn't do that on the last one. But, um, but yeah. Righty ho. Let's call it there then.